Okay, I was a little excited to do this reading because I saw everybody who commented and said they need this reading done. So um, we're going to do a pick a card, okay? Um, I'm just going to say this first. If you know you have no soccer or if, like, you just, what, soccer, huh? This is everything that's not for you. If you've had some sort of like inkling that somebody's watching you, you feel like you've been watched, you think somebody is doing something, if you've if you've done a restraining order, right? If you have went out and got a restraining order, you know you got a stalker. But even for the people who just feel like something or someone is stalking them, this reading is for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Pile number one will be the original, original writer weight tarot, okay? Pile number one. Pile number two, I always forget the name of this tarot deck. Y'all know what this tarot, the, the, this one, okay? Um, that is pile number two and pile number three, this one, Modern Witch Tarot, tarot deck, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here and I'll timestamp pile number one. We're going to start at... All right, welcome. If you have picked this tarot deck, pile number one, this is your reading. This are the characteristics of the person who is stalking you, um, why they're stalking you, and whatever you maybe you need to look out for. Okay. All right, so let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, angels, please allow me to put a message here for pile number one. Two of Cups keeps flipping out. I don't know if y'all see that. So I don't know if y'all have somebody that you were in a relationship with. It keeps wanting, look at that. It keeps wanting to be put on the table. I'm going to put it in here. If it comes out, that's a double confirmation. Two of Cups can be a soulmate, a friendship, a lover, um, but somebody who's very close to you. So let's just see here. This is for pile number one. Angels. What do we have here for pile number one? All right, pile number one. Let's start with who this is, okay? Ten of Cups came out. Let's start out with who this is, okay? How would you know who this is, all right? Pile number one. Ace of Pentacles, okay? This could have been something newer in your life or somebody who offered you a new beginning. Queen of Pentacles here um virgo taurus capricorn so strong earth energy is coming through here um this could be somebody that you dated or you were in a relationship with you may have proposed or wanted to propose something to you um there's something here to do with money too. queen of pentacles sometimes can be a baby mama baby father type of energy somebody you have given money to let's see here who is this to and then we have the emperor okay um, Aries energy here. Somebody could be very controlling. It could be a boss type of energy. I'm getting a lot of coins and pentacles. And then we see that at the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to say this a few, I see this a few different ways here. Baby mama, baby daddy type of energy here. This could be somebody that you've done business with wanting to present business to you. This could be somebody that you worked with a boss. Okay. Who's trying to offer you things what is that bribe like bribe you in some other way okay somebody who's very generous very giving now let's say they're not a boss let's say it's a friend of some sort who just like to give you a lot of gifts i like to call them bait gifts right so they can shower you with gifts now and then later come back and say uh well i look at all i did for you and da, 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 that type of energy okay because it's all in the efforts to control you okay um so that's kind of like who this is could be earth sign virgo taurus capricorn or aries okay could be so why why are they stalking pile number one So I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to pull one more. There is some sort of emotional connection, whether this is a business partner or not. There is some sort of emotional connection. The first reason they're stalking you is because you left. 
Six of Swords. I want to say you got sick of whatever the headache was, the arguments, the drama, the conflict. They could have been a manipulator, but you got going. You left the situation. Um, the Seven of Cups here, I feel like they still dream, daydream about you, think about you. Um, they have emotions and feelings for because the last card is the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past, a friend from your past, a soulmate from your past, childhood friend, um, or lover. But with the Seven of Cups here, it's like, the word opportunist came out. So that could apply for some of you. Um, now, if it was a boss or something like that, they may have some emotional connection to you. But I heard the word opportunist, okay? Um, and I feel like there was something that they wanted out of you. And I don't know if they were casting illusions on you or they were very delusional when it comes to you, okay? Maybe what you were to them or what you could have been to them. Maybe they had romantic feelings to you on the low, but they were very delusional in that. We got the three of pentacles here and the six of cups. I also feel like, you know, this person, the reason that they stalk you here is this either because you, when you left them, you went off and started to accelerate or to build or maybe make more money. Maybe you made new friends. You got a new job. It's something here where you elevated, okay? You elevated. And I feel like, honestly, with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups, they miss you. Very nostalgic energy. They want you back. So they stalk you because you left from something for some reason, okay? Whether there's a relationship or you left the job, you left and that's why they're stalking you. They can't get enough of you. That's all they do is daydream about you. They think about you, okay? I'm gonna pull some of this, uh, these oracles here, right here. Before we go any further, tell us any information we might need about this situation, Spirit. Any information we might need spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth. I feel like somebody got the F away from somebody because you were enlightened about them. You changed. Ooh, that could have been proposal here. We got player. So somebody, I said that in the beginning, somebody could have presented something to you, proposed to you, maybe took things too far, like giving you a love offer <clears throat> or felt like you were their wish come true. Let's see here. Open relationship. Mm-hmm. That could have been the proposal. That could have been a propo that could have been the proposal right there. Let's say it was a boss and they were already married. You know what I'm saying? That that could have been what it is. Um, <clears throat> some of you, I know it's getting a little all over the place, but I'm getting a little me a few messages. There was some sort of bribery or something. Okay. Even if it was a proposal of some sort, like, hey, you know, we could do this on the low, da, 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 there's some sort of bribery or something, okay, something. If it wasn't flat out bribery, it was kind of like the energy of somebody who liked to give you gifts, but that the reason that they were giving you gifts was so they could hold on to you or have something over your head. We got destiny, luck, chance, meant to be. So somebody felt like the situation was faded or like you're their one. It's a real like obsession. Well, any future actions from this stalker towards Aries? Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Three of Swords. I don't like that. Ooh, and the Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Wands, the Justice. I was just about to say, Aries, if you know who this is, in any capacity, go get you a... Um, a restraining order. Okay. I'm not trying to put fear in anybody, but the last card that came out was the justice. And I was going to say that before this came out, but let me show you what came out. Three of swords, the hermit could be a Virgo, strong Virgo energy, ace of wands and the 10 of swords. Okay. 10 of swords is a very painful card. Um, very painful card. I see this a few ways. This person is plotting in secret with the hermit energy to come towards you and entice you in some way. Some of you, it's just to get you in a third party. Maybe this is somebody that you're attracted to. Some of you, this is trying to restart something with you just so they can hurt you or betray you or backstab you, okay? In some capacity, there's some sort of real sick betrayal energy here. Something mixed in with lust and some sexual energy. So like, let's say it's the same sex type of, like you're a girl, they're a girl, you're not even, you, you're straight, but this person also has some sort of secret sexual desire towards you too, okay? 
This is very specific and vice versa, man, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the justice here. I would definitely, I would seek legal advice. I'm not, I'm laughing because it's a nervous laugh, but it's like, I would seek some sort of legal advice. Let's pull from the Kipper. <clears throat> Maybe you had to seek legal advice from the work, if it was a work situation. Let's see here from the Kipper. <clears throat> Unexpected income and imprisonment. This person might get sent to jail, but you know what the word, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I heard embezzlement. Embezzlement? <laughs> Y'all know where that's from. <laughs> if you know, you know. Embezzlement. And so I don't know. Somebody could be doing something or did something with money. We have unexpected income and we have the imprisonment card. We have messages of concern in reverse. The fact that the message of concern in reverse, it came in reverse, it lets me know that it doesn't affect you in any way, okay? It's like none of your concern, but you may get a message and hear about this person's legal issues and it has something to do with money. They could be writing fake checks. They could be doing something here. Or you can hear that they bribe other people and try to entice other people and they get caught up somewhere down the line. So it may be the fact that you don't have to seek legal inf You may not have to seek legal counsel because something is already done. There's already some justice served with this person. But this, let me tell you this, this is not good. And I'm going to speak real with you. Ten of Swords, when I'm a tarot reader, this the death card doesn't represent death, okay? It doesn't represent, it can represent transition. Some people, they say, but this is a painful card in the aspect that this could represent to me somebody hurting someone, okay? So I don't want to sugarcoat any more readings at all. Like, you know, I'm just gonna let you know. This could be the type of thing, and this is the hermit here where somebody is doing something, to, they're to themselves thinking about something, you know? trying to plot something, trying to see the next move and it's clarified by the three of swords. So they're, whatever they're doing in the dark and isolation, whatever they're thinking about is, is pain, is hurt. Maybe it's like Aries betrayed me, Aries hurt me. So now I'm going to go and hurt Aries. I'm going to take action to go hurt Aries because this person is stewing. I got the energy all over me. They're stewing in pain. Like it's psychotic. Like that's what it really feels like. So I don't know who that reading is, but, and I feel like I want to say this, somebody got, it's like, maybe you rejected them and they can't, they can't accept it. Ugh. It's a really nasty energy. Let's go ahead and put that up. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and move to pile number two. Let me write that down. Mm -mm. All right, pile number two, this is for you. Okay, pile number two, if you feel like you have a stalker, if you know you have a stalker, we're about to find out, okay? Let's see who it is, what they, why they're stalking you, and what they may come forward, if they may come forward or not. Some of them may not come forward, but we're going to see here, all right? All right. How would Pal 2 know who this person is? How would Pal 2 know who this person is, the stalker? How would they know who this is? Already the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Don't like it. Okay, don't like it. Could be a narcissist for some of you. But how will power to know who this stalker is if they have one? Let's see here. How will they know who this is? This came crossing. Ten of Cups crossing. How will this person how will they know who this person is? Six of Swords. So somebody left a relationship. A happily ever after type of relationship. What they in the world card, they ended something, okay? Something was ended. Something where there's potential to be really happy. Somebody moved away from a situation and ended a situation, completed a situation. Tell me about the world card. 
the Ten of Wands. Ooh. And so they moved on and ended a situation, but they're heavily burdened by a situation that they ended. But it's definitely complete. You got two tens here. It's definitely something that has been completed. So let's just say that you were in a relationship with this person. You thought this was your end all be all. Maybe they even felt like it because I'm getting a strong sense. They felt like this was y'all, like it should have been y'all end all be all, but they left and ended the situation. And now they're hurting. They're very burdened possibly by the decision that they made. Now, only way you would know this is if they told you, but this is the reason that they are stopping you. Okay. Or this is how you would know. No, this is how you would know who this is. Okay. So I guess you have to hear this from the grapevine or something like this. So let's see a little bit more because I feel like that's the reason they are. But let's see what's specifically the reason why they're stalking Aries. Yep. Another 10, three tens. Yep. They're hurt. What's the reason they're stalking Aries? So somebody left somebody. Nine of Pentacles. What's the reason they're stalking Aries? Woo. Are they stalking you? Are they stalking you? We got the Ten of Swords here. We got the Nine of Pentacles and we got the Moon card. Aries, someone's whole world fell apart when the relationship between you two ended and you are outside picking from your garden. Like you don't have a care in the world, okay? Um, and so I feel like they're trying to like pick your brain. They're trying to see where you're at, especially with this Moon card. And I also feel like if they did to you that was shady underhanded they're trying to figure out if you know or not okay now maybe they're trying to figure out if you did something to them but that first message strongly if they did something shady to you they want to know if you know okay and that's what's really killing them that's what's really killing them and because they don't know if like i don't know it's like this is like a person who played mind games with you feels like you're playing mind games with them but you're not you're just going about your life but the fact that you're just going about your life makes them feel like you're playing mind games with them, like you don't care. You know, it's like with all these tens here, it's like something has ended, like finito, done, finished, no going back. Okay. And so I think that's why maybe you're in this nine of pentacles energy, single, happy, doing you, taking care of yourself. But the reason they're stalking you is because they are still in a lot of pain with this ten of swords and possibly the betrayal. If they betrayed you with this Ten of Swords, that might be their karma that they can't let go. They can't take their eyes off of you, okay? And that's why they're stopping here. But I really get the sense that they did something underhanded and there's some sort of connection there. Let's pull here from the stack before we move forward. Holy Spirit, I'm just going to make a message here for pile number two. Pile number two. Whoop, something fell in my lap. Legal matters and a player. Mm -hmm. So it's players having legal issues could possibly be. All right. So for pile number two, give us any information you can on this stalker. Any information you can on this pile number two stalker. This is crazy that I'm doing reading about stalker. Y'all got, got stalkers out there. So let me tell you this. This person is heartbroken, devastated. I told you that with the Ten of Swords, okay? Devastated. Hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. You got faded meeting. I feel like either this person could be trying to plot to run into you, meant to be destiny, predetermined, and encounter, or they are realizing through this heartbreak, through this separation that you guys were always meant to be. And that kind of is confirmation from the Ten of Cups. Like this is the ultimate happiness. This is one of those situations where somebody walked away from something and realized, wow, I'm never going to find that again. And that has to be killer, right? Somebody isn't realizing they are never going to find what they have with you again. And I mean, nothing, never, never, never. But they're really feeling like you were the one. You were the one. And we got text message here. Communication, news, phone call, direct message. They could be about to reach out to you or they've tried to reach out to you. If they're blocked, they're blocked. Or this person could be still looking at messages 
You know, that type of thing keeps you in their energy. So if they're still going over old communication, reading text messages from you too, things like that, you could probably feel them pulling on your energy. Let's see, what else do we have here for Aries? Twin flame, yeah, strong connection. Very strong, spiritual alignment, effortless karmic. Feels like a mosquito, okay. Whining, dining, and romance. <clears throat> True gem. Yep. Valuable, quality, jewelry, gifts, surprises, presents, openings. Oh my God, Bruno, you scared me. <laughs> I feel like this person, this person wishes they could come back to you and court you properly. I'm telling you with the True gem card, they really realized what they had now, that it's it's no more. Okay, what is this person's future actions towards Aries, if any? What is this person's future actions towards Aries, if any? Well, I don't like that. Don't like that. And definitely don't like that. Mm, and I don't like that at all. Aries. Okay, let me tell you something right now. This person is going to do magic to try to get you back. If you don't believe in that kind of stuff, if you don't, if you don't believe in it, you don't want to believe it, you don't want you want to click off, you want to be naive, do it. But I'm telling you right now, somebody's going to try to do magic. This is clear as day. Dark magic, black magic. All you need to do is protect yourself and you know, because what they're doing is coming and they're coming, it's coming from a very low vibrational place of hurt, um, anger, um, missing you, wanting you back. I, I, this is not a fear message because I'm going to say this. I don't feel like it's going to work because with the seven of wands, if you fight back, if you defend yourself, you'll be protected. But it's real. It's probably like, especially with the hermit here, it's real. Like it'd be the person that you don't even think would even do anything like that. Like they're desperate, okay? Desperate. They are desperate. And so it's probably like, what? They don't know anything about that. They wouldn't do that. Uh, okay. I told you. Just know I told you here first. Don't be no fool, okay? First card that came out was the magician in reverse with the hermit with the devil, okay? Not a great combination of cards. And with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. And then you're underneath there, the Emperor. Okay? Um, and I'm saying, like, magic sometimes don't even have to be with candles and all this other stuff. This man, this person, man, woman, could be sitting in the corner rocking back and forth with their knees to the chairs. Just literally thinking about you, obsessing about you. Any type of free time that they have, obsessive. Okay, that alone, that type of mental capacity going towards you, you'll feel that. You will feel that. Okay, but with the magician in reverse, is definitely some really strong underhanded manipulation. Um, and I would say definitely calling on a bruja or two, or you know, going to the local botanica to get the closest love candle or something like that to just try to get you back. Okay. They're doing it in secret. They don't want people to know because maybe it's like people that they don't think that would do things like that. They don't want people to know what they're doing, but they're doing it. And that explains the moon card too. Okay. They're doing it. Um, cleanse yourself, stay protected. This is not a fear message. I'm just telling you what they're going to try to do. If you start dreaming about this person, uh, just know that's something that they're doing. The higher you keep your vibration, and I I'm, I don't care what nobody says, I'm a firm believer in this. The higher you keep your vibration, the less the, the tax will be susceptible. Now, you may feel things, you know, you may, but that's just your indication. That's just your warning of what's happening. Keep you some, get a, a, a this is a crystal. This is amethyst right here. This is like for a psychic um, protection and things like that. But get you a jet bracelet like this. Get you new might. Get you, um, gosh darn it, I can't even think of the word. Black tourmaline, okay? 
any type of uh, protective stones that you can wear and keep on you, keep you an evil eye, whatever. But the best thing to do is to continue to cleanse regularly, uh, regularly. Okay, salt, hyssop, and brew. Submerge yourself in that with water. Cleanse yourself. Um, but I, I don't want to like. I'm not saying you to go do all of that. Because honestly, whatever this person is doing, I don't feel like it's going to work, especially with the Seven of Wands coming out as your energy. I just wanted to let you know that's how desperate this person would be to get you back, okay? All right. Let's move on to pile number three. Okay. Pile number three, if you do have picked pile number three, who's stalking you? Let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys, angels, please don't let me to put a message here. For the people who have picked pile number three, who is stalking them? Who is stalking them? I'm gonna show a little more. Okay, who is stalking pile number three? Who is this person? How will they know who this person is? The tower flipped in my hand and around. Aries Scorpionic energy. Somebody there may have been a blow up argument with. Ten of cups again. So maybe it was a long term relationship or a family situation. Oof, and the devil. This person was toxic or the relationship that you two had between you two was very toxic. And there was a really bad argument is what I'm getting here. Okay. It could have been a long time relationship, a romantic relationship, but I'm also getting where it could have been a family or family member. Somebody was very much in their ego. Okay. Why are they stalking you? And that's just how you would know. Why are they stalking you though? Four of cups. Why are they stalking you? Ace of Swords. Why are they stalking you? And the Knight of Knight of Cups. Could there be a romantic? I mean, not if it's family. Oh God, no. Okay, <laughs> but if it's not family, it's not. I mean, this could be romantic. If it is family, I'm gonna tell you this: somebody's discontent because it looks like that you won. Okay in an argument with the ace of swords here and you're off doing you and chasing your dreams chasing your goals and they're just like not and blocked it feels like okay the four of cups really discontent bored it's like they're missing opportunities in their life to stew over what happened between you between you two okay they're just like missing things job offers opportunities all these things because they're just mad at you and what you're doing and you're with this ace of swords and this knight of cups energy off chasing your dreams okay doing your thing maybe even having a new beginning now if this was a romantic partner they're upset that you went off and started new love somewhere else okay but if it's family like i said the mere fact that you've just moved on and doing you that pisses this person off and especially, I feel like because there was a real toxic element to the relationship. So meaning that maybe it was some sort of codependency, okay? Family or lover, so, so some sort of codependency, okay? What is this person's future actions towards Aries? What is this person's future actions towards Aries? We've got the Seven of Cups crossing. There you are, the Emperor. And the temperance. Tell us about the temperance. Ooh, ooh. Page of swords. This person seems like they're more or less going to stay in their head. They're going to stay stubborn. They're going to stay stuck. They're going to stay dreaming about you, thinking about all the possibilities, or maybe even missing you, even if it's a family member, just missing your energy here. We got the seven of cups. We got the emperor here, but they're going to stay stubborn. They're going to take their really, really precious time and then they may communicate. And even if they do communicate, the communication is going to be kind of petty. But for the most part, they're going to continue to watch with this page of swords here. You know, watch you be happy. Maybe even watch you in another relationship. Um, if this is a lover. And look at that. The eight of swords, they're going to remain stuck. 
Tell me about this four of wands. They're going to remain stuck. Yeah, they're going to watch you build your happiness, Aries. This is the type of person who's going to remain stubborn, okay? They're going to remain stewing in a lot of negative energy instead of just saying, hey, let's talk about it. Like, this person is not going to do that. They're going to continue to watch you. And I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is like somebody's studying you, okay? They're not just watching. They're studying you. Every move you make, every breath you take, unfortunately. <clears throat> Intuition, gut feeling, psychic premonition, and sixth sense. Hookup in reverse. And mass. So definitely, if this is like a lover type of situation, somebody definitely, oof, hidden motive, conceal, disguise, and lying. I don't like that at all. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship play. Um, be careful about online interactions. Somebody could be posing to be somebody else, like catfishing, like catfishing you. Pro to, like posing to be somebody just to catch you up in something. Okay. Uh, choice, multiple options, turning point, indecisive. I want to say like, even if it's a family member, you know, not saying that they're trying to hook up with you, but like they could be trying to pose as a suitor just to see if you're going to say something dirty or raunchy or so they could put you on front street. That's real, like, scandalous type. Lovers. Some of you is a lover relationship. Coffin. It ended. Yeah, for sure. Let me tell you this. Message of concern. If this is a family member, it could be a family member who, and I don't know why family keeps coming back, but it could be a family member who interfered in your relationship. Okay, it could be a family member who interfered in your relationship for some of you. Great fortune and occupation. They see you doing you. They see you doing you and whatever you're doing. Okay, that's that eight of pentacles and that four of wands. You get into the bag, you get into your happiness. Doesn't, you know, just whatever is making you happy, you're doing it. And this really bothers the heck out of this person. Okay. All right, let's see here. What was that? Children was about to come out. Tell us about the situation here. Brunette, female, darker hair, intense and focused. We got a young female. They could be very immature and karma, toxic story. New opportunity. I told you this person could be very toxic. This could be somebody who was just brunette, male or female, just very immature, very immature. And I feel like, let me say this, with this toxic story, not just that they're getting karma, this person could have had a really bad run of it in their life, like their whole story, their background. They could have just had a lot of bad luck, a lot of bad circumstances. It just was the pick of the deck for them. And so there's something about you, Aries, when they see you, it triggers the hell out of them, maybe because your life just was not like that. So this person could have been very envious of you in some capacity. Fun times, I saw one of the clip out. And twin flame, okay? Some of you, very strong soulmate connection. And let's just say it was a friend or family. Again, you guys could have really bonded very, very strongly, had a lot of good times together. And when you, and that, that's a trigger for some people. When you were like this, best friends, cousins, whatever, you know, it doesn't have to just be lovers. But when y'all were like this, inseparable, and somebody goes their separate way, and one person doesn't know how to communicate or, you know what I'm saying? That's a trigger. So, and I feel like that's why this person is stalking you. It's like, they don't have the ability to talk to you about how they're feeling. So they're just going to be mad and look at you from a distance. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.